Now, it is no secret that podcasts and interview shows are getting more popular year over year, and I believe that it's not only because the long form conversational format is very entertaining, but also because you can create short form pieces of content from these long form pieces of content, which can really just flood the internet and go viral. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can also create remote podcast recordings, interview shows, or anything like that using an amazing software called Riverside. This is going to allow you to record your own professional videos just from your browser and computer without needing to know any kind of like crazy technology or needing to spend a bunch of money on expensive equipment. Now, if you're kind of skeptical, like I was at first, Riverside is actually used by some of the biggest creators and show hosts on the internet, like Tim Ferriss, Gary V, Ali Abdal, and so many more. So I would say, let's get right into it. So the first part of this tutorial is setting up a new studio in Riverside. So you're going to need just a couple of pieces of equipment to really get the most out of the software possible. Number one, you will need a microphone. It can even be the built-in microphone of your laptop or your headphones, or you can also get a more professional microphone like the one I'm using right now, which is a Shure SM7B, if you really want that extra crispy and professional audio. You're also going to need some sort of a camera if you want to have video as well. So you can either use your web camera like I usually do with my MacBook, or you can also get either an external webcam, even use your phone as a webcam, or you can even connect a professional DSLR or mirrorless camera with a cable to your laptop. And then you can actually use it as the camera source in Riverside. Other than this, you will just need an internet connection. And I highly recommend you to get some decent lighting on your face. So currently I'm just using a very cheap like $70 ring light, but you know, getting a nice and big window in front of you is also sufficient. Now, if you actually want to follow along, then you can go ahead and click the first link in the description to sign up for Riverside. And then you can start your account for completely free. You don't need to put in your credit card. Just try it out, see how you like it. And uh, then you can go from there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click here on create new studio. I'm just going to name it uh, whatever you know podcast and then you can select whether you want the recording type to be audio and video as well or audio only so I want it to be audio and video you can also choose from all these languages for your transcription language um, so I'm just going to keep it as English right and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and click on enter studio so Basically, now I'm entering my own Riverside Studio. And as you can see, I have now the options to choose the camera that I want to use. So you can see now it's only showing my FaceTime HD camera. But if I had like an external camera connected to it, I could choose that as well. Uh, I can choose my microphone. So I'm going to use this external microphone that I have right here. And uh, for your speakers, I highly recommend you also to get a pair of headphones. So even if you have like some AirPods or anything like that, just put them in your ears and then you're going to be able to select that from here. So let me show you how that's done. So as you can see, now I'm able to click here on AirPods. And the reason I highly recommend you to use some headphones while you are making your podcast or interview show is because otherwise you are going to have some echo from the speakers, which the software will have to cancel out and it will kind of mess with your audio quality. So you're best off just using, you know, some AirPods or anything like that. I can uh, choose my name here. So I'm just going to use Vince Opro, which is uh, gonna be my name. And I'm going to click on, I am using headphones right uh, and now i can go ahead and click on join studio by the way they also have these roles inside of riverside which are super cool you can assign different roles to different people like producer host guest and so on and as you can see now i'm inside of my riverside studio now step number two is to actually go ahead and invite your guests into your studio so you basically have two options to invite guests into your studio the first option which is probably the easiest one is to just go ahead and you know, select this link that's right here. You can choose what kind of role do you want to have for the person who's going to join with this link. And you just click here on copy link. You just go ahead and send it to them, you know, on WhatsApp, iMessage, email, or whatever it is that you are using. They are just gonna be able to click on it, enter their name, and that's it. They are going to be able to join and start recording with you. Now, the other way to invite guests is to click here on invite by email, and then you can go ahead and put in their email address right here. You can choose the permission or the roles again, and then just click on invite. A couple of cool things you can do here is you can actually name your recording. So I'm just going to name this one test recording. 
right? And you can go ahead and save it. Now, next up in front of this, you have this little uh, icon here where you can get to the settings of your studio. So I highly recommend you to change a couple of settings here, potentially. Uh, first of all, you know, you can name your studio here. You can make it either a private or a public studio. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can also um, turn on this require guests to stay in lobby feature, which is again amazing. Uh, so you can let in only those people who you want to let in at the time when you want to let them in, right? In the design, you can also upload your own logo if you want. And you know, you can put that kind of like embedded on your actual recording. Now here in the recording settings, uh, you can choose uh, if you want to remove background noise. Now, I personally don't really recommend that unless you are really in like a noisy environment because it can kind of make your audio quality a little bit worse. So yeah, I, I don't really recommend that for the most parts. Now, um, basically here, I also recommend you to go ahead and click on advanced uh, quality. Now. It's going to recommend you optimize quality by default, which is good. It's going to get you like faster, you know, upload times, processing and so on. But if you are looking to get the most quality out of your footage, you can click here on advanced quality and, you know, change it to up to 1080p or even up to 4K. You can also choose your frame rate here. I'm just going to leave this on 24 frames per second. And uh, yeah, other than that, you can choose if you want to make it audio only or not. I'm not going to mess with that. You can also live stream directly from here into something like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, LinkedIn, and so on. So that's really cool. And uh, yeah, it just makes it very convenient to stream your podcast or interview shows, for example, directly into the platforms. You can use Riverside for so many different things, but some of my favorite use cases for it are, first of all, like using it for student interviews. Some of you guys might know that I actually run like a coaching business where we help creatives to get more clients. And in there, we actually interview some of the most successful students and share their stories on this channel, right? So uh, Riverside is just perfect for recording those student interviews and then getting them uploaded to YouTube. I also like to use it for just simply recording podcasts, especially the these remote ones where, where the guest is in another location, another part of the world. And Riverside just makes it so easy to do this recording. Now, this is just what I personally use it for, but you can also use it for, again, video interviews, executive interviews, panel discussions, talking at presentations, webinars, internal communications, keynote speakers, and so on. And you can not only record cameras or audio with it, but you can also do screen sharing function, which is really, really good because it makes it much more versatile. Now, a really cool feature I want to mention here about the studio is the low data mode. So if you turn on the low data mode for everyone, it's basically going to make it like just uh, audio uh, on your side and the guest side as well. But because Riverside is actually recording on both parties ends, the full quality resolution video, you know, at the end, you are still going to have the, the perfectly crisp video um, and you're going to be able to download that and use that on your social media. But when you are actually doing the discussion, it's not going to spend as much kind of like data connection on transmitting the video signal over to the other person, which will get rid of kind of like hiccups or anything like that uh, and make it much easier on your Wi-Fi if you don't have a super strong connection. Now, inside of the studio, let's just say you had a guest already joined and then you just click here on start recording or also you can run a test recording to make sure everything is running smoothly. And that's about it, right? You are able to record and then you can just stop recording once you're done with your show. Now, here is an example of what an actual recording looks like inside of Riverside. So this is a student interview I did with uh, Jacob. Now, you can see that Riverside automatically like transcribes the entire uh, video right here for you. It lets you do a couple things. Number one, you can do text-based editing right here, uh, which is amazing. I, I just can't stress it enough. So for example, what text-based editing is, is let's just say you I have this section here, right? And I wanted to get rid of it. I can literally just highlight the part that I want to cut out. Uh, let's say this part at 540. I'm gonna just hit delete. And you can see I made a cut and I deleted that section entirely right you can also make cuts in your footage by just using this split button and you know cut it into two parts and like i said one of the main reasons i enjoy using riverside over some of the other softwares is because it is actually recording in real time the full quality uh you know video footage on both participants computers 
and then at the end it uploads the raw full quality files to your account. So even if there are hiccups in the Wi-Fi or the connection stops at some point from one person's end, that is still not going to show in the end result. Because of this reason, you can also just separate the two speakers and get both of their separate files. You can also split the audio and video files super easily. So this is again amazing because for example, if you are creating clips, uh, from a podcast, then you want to make sure that you have, you know, both of the recordings in its uh, kind of like full length and full size as well. If you wanted to make like short form clips from it, for example. So with Riverside, you get both of those on both speaker sides. Now here we have the remove all silences tool, which is part of this holistic set of magic editor tools. And it allows you to click on it and then remove all silences throughout the clip. So this holistic set of features, which is the magic editor has the one click magic clips, the automatic captions, the transcriptions, and also the remove all silences feature. Here's another example of uh, the magic clip. So this is the magic clip that the AI selected and created for us. If you wanted to, you could also like move this around, uh, choose a different part. And you can see the part that's selected as the magic clip is highlighted in white. Now here you can also choose uh, the size. So whether you want to have the 16 by nine version, a one by one or a nine by 16 for something like TikToks or YouTube shorts or reels, you know, you can choose that here. I'm just going to leave it at 16 by nine here. You can also um, click here on, you know, the tracks and you can make one of them audio only if you want by clicking on that button you can reorder them by dragging um, down with these little you know lines you can also change the layout if you click on layout here so you can have this grid view you can have the grid with gaps uh, you can have a full frame ai where it's just gonna switch between uh who's speaking you you have this shared ai as well where the main you know one of them is in the corner and if you want to uh you know go ahead and make the the corners rounded for example you can click on this um you can also change the background here on this next uh setting so for example something like this you know it looks very nice and sleek uh, professional so that's amazing and one of the best parts about having this AI transcript is that you can add captions to your you know footage and videos super super easily like man I remember this like two three years ago when I was making for example Instagram clips this would take ages but here I can just click here on captions and you know just choose the kind of style I want and I can drag that wherever I want on the screen. Like for example, I'm just gonna, you know, leave it here and it's gonna add captions to my entire uh, project as you can see. So for example, if you were making like an Instagram clip, um, so let me, let me just change it to this aspect ratio. I can just put it here, you know, somewhere where it's easy to read. And um, just in a few seconds, I'm able to create like literally perfect social media content. You can also add an intro or an outro to your uh, podcast or show by clicking here on this plus uh, you know, button. And then you can just go ahead, select the file uh, here and it's gonna add it to the beginning. And then you can go ahead, do the same thing here at the end and add your outro if you want. Another new feature that they just rolled out is the AI magic clips. So this is a feature that's perfect for stuff like shorts or Instagram reels. What it does, it basically analyzes your entire video and then it takes some of the most interesting parts adds captions to them and like automatically converts them into this short form content size that is perfect for going viral on stuff like TikTok and Instagram reels, like I said. Now, last but not least, let's move on to exporting. So to export your projects, you just click here on export, right? And then here you can select the video quality uh, and then you can go ahead and click on normalize audio levels. So this is great, especially if you have two speakers and maybe one person's microphone is a little bit louder than the other ones. You can just click on this and then it's going to like bring them to the same level, which is amazing. You can uh, click the remove background noise if you really need to. You can uh, also choose whether you want to have the uh, watermark or not on it. After that, you just click on export. It's going to send you a quick email. Once your thing is done, you can go ahead and download it. So as you can see here in the recording files, I have uh, this one where we have both participants and I could just go ahead and just download the high quality version. I can export the, uh, the one with the grid. 
Uh, I can export the audio only. I can do a custom export. I can also download just one or the other speakers um, stuff. So that's really, really cool. I can also download the, the transcript on its own. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, got some more insights on how to use this software. Now you can sign up for Riverside for free by clicking the link in the description below. And you can also use my code VINS for 15% off.